lovelies welcome back to my youtube channel guys i am oh my god i am lost for words i had another makeup artist nikita do my makeup and was really good guys because i've never been able to achieve such flawless skin before and that's what i'm so in love with i'm in love with the fact that this is not your typical christmas look it's not glitter it's not shimmer it's actually matte eyes it's grown it's sexy it's mature it's also a look that you can pass over to new year's like come on this is not your typical christmas so you can if you want to know how we achieve this look stay tuned and keep watching also guys i know you have so many questions about this hair so um i've got a little something of how i styled this hair for you guys the hair details is going to be in the description down below and um just enjoy i'm gonna have a coupon code and all of that so enjoy so guys let me give you the real tea on this hair because i know you loved it when you guys saw it on my instagram live and on instagram on snapchat you guys really love this hair so first of all this hair is some clayey hair and it's their malaysian deep wave bundles i am wearing three bundles of 26 Six inch and a 20 inch frontal guys the hair is amazing originally the hair comes in its natural state and it's very big the curls are bouncy super soft but for this look i wanted that sexy wet look so i added some water into the hair and i'm using some spray here i'm showing you guys how gorgeous the hair is the hair itself is absolutely stunning So guys to get my curls popping i use the cantu coil calm detangler and then the curl tonic from l'oreal guys this is that combo together amazing on curly hair i first use a water bottle to wet the hair and then those are the products that i use to really make my curls stand out when wetting your hair and stuff i'm always careful at the front because i know that that's where i used my adhesive to make the frontal stick down so i always try to avoid getting that area super wet if i didn't use a waterproof glue or spray um i'm always very careful because i don't want that to lift throughout the day so don't do what i did you put some of that product on your hand apply it to your fingertips and massage it um into the roots of your hair for this hair to look amazing wet it needs to definitely be moist and the curls need to be detangled hence why i use the cantu detangler i use my fingers to detangle so you can use a wide tooth comb but i run my fingers in there um because it gives me a good idea of whether the hair um sheds as well with this hair there was minimal shedding the only way i could imagine this hair really shedding is if i had cut the bundle or the lace or anything like that then obviously the hair from the weft will shed but avoid doing that guys like please in 2000 girl we are in 2018 going to 19 like if you still cut your bundles i don't know what the hell is wrong with you like do not cut your bundles that will cause your hair to shed but this hair is super soft look at how it's shine oh it's just so delectable the only thing that i would wish is that i use the light stocking cap under but i didn't because that would have then um when i part my hair it would really enhance the parting but you can just use some powder or some concealer to really make your parting pop but guys look at that frontal oh it's just uh, it just looks really good and the makeup really complements it the hair is definitely a 10 out of 10 um i i just love the texture i'm gonna have everything linked down below in the description box for you guys anyway so definitely definitely make sure you check them out they also have free giveaways and things like that on their website you can use a discount code beauty2018 to get money off of your purchase let's now get into the makeup tutorial so first guys we started off with cleaning my face so we're using a Garnier skin active micellar water just put some of that on a cotton pad and wipe off your face <laughs> wipe off your face girl you know what I mean next we've got the Mario Badescu um spray 
this really just refreshes the skin and it just makes you glow okay i love that stuff that stuff was delectable next we're going to grab the dip brown abh um brow pomade as you can see she's just grooming my brows first with a spoolie brush and then she goes in with an angled brush really thin one and she outlines my eyebrow she doesn't fill them in straight away she just outlines them and then she's going to go ahead and conceal them to conceal we use the makeup revolution conceal and define concealer in shade 10.5 then she grabs a concealer brush and then um she goes ahead to define my brows she applies it beneath my brow brings it down onto my eyelids not all the way down and then she blends that out with a buffer brush next we set it with a little bit of a laura mercier translucent loose powder she doesn't use a lot she just uses a little bit and she just brushes it over the concealer we grab some ipads these ipads were from primark so they were cheap and cheerful i went there the other day and i couldn't find them but i'm sure you can find them off ebay amazon or anything like that um we use morocco um the color from the abh palette this is a singles palette though so all these colors she bought herself and she made a palette of her own and then using an eyeshadow blending brush she just applies that and buffs that into the creases of my eye grabbing the huda beauty rose gold palette we dip into cocoa which is a lovely brown eyeshadow and we just darken that on the outer corners of my crease we go in lightly at um, the inner corners and then we buff that out towards the End. we wanted a really dark green and the green that we had wasn't so dark so we used an inglot black um gel pot as a base so she only applied that on the areas where she really wanted to pack the green on so it would really pick up on the peg on the pigment we didn't use white because we find that that really makes the color stand out like really bright and we didn't want that as you can see the green is just a tad bit light and it's from the anastasia subculture palette now guys as you guys know there was quite some controversy around this palette the palette um the payoff was okay but the fallout was absolutely ridiculous and later on you guys will see that we struggled with that and um, even packing on the product sometimes it wouldn't go on as soon as we blend it will blend away and um it was just a little bit of a it, it, it was it was hard work honestly it was technique that made us get the look that we wanted but she done well um, as you can see she's packing on the color as opposed to even um, swiping it across she's really having to pack it on and we spent a lot of time on this eye just because of that so after years of blending and applying blending and applying we finally got there in the end and look at that fallout honestly if it wasn't for those iPads my skin would have been stained with that eyeshadow so it's so so important to have those next we're going to grab the abh hydrating oil and we're going to apply that on to my skin and then she's going to give me a lovely massage <laughs> and really work that into the skin next we've got the le creme concentrate honestly guys i can't i can't even pronounce the actual name of it but um this is phenomenal this cream is really good we use it as a primer because my skin is super dry now that it's winter so that really gave me like a hydrated look and i live for next we used melanie mills um bronzer in deep gold this is gonna definitely give me that lovely radiant skin um i feel like this look definitely look a little bit sun-kissed and it was a hundred percent because of this product right here it was a little bit darker but the glow is going to be so worth it so next we've got the nars foundation and we're using shade macau we did mix it with a little bit of mac nc 44 because um it was just a tad bit orange and we needed to lift it because i have a yellow undertone a golden yellow so um we mix the two and we achieve this gorgeous look as you can see at first she applies it with a brush a stippling brush and then she uses a damp beauty blender then she really works that into my skin next guys we grab the nars natural radiance concealer in ginger and caramel she mixes the two and then she applies it beneath my eyes the nose of my bridge and then the excess product that's going to be on the beauty blender she puts it on my forehead and then my chin as you can see she doesn't apply it directly beneath my eyes because i have fine lines there and we don't want the product to sink in to blend she uses a damp 
beauty blender and then she uses the excess product to bring beneath my eye now that we've highlighted to contour we're going to use the l'oreal true match foundation in 9.5 mahogany um, she applies it with a firm brush into the hollows of my cheek and then using a damp beauty blender she blends that all the way through for my nose contour she goes in with a very small detailed brush and she just adds a tad bit product and lines the sides of my nose and then going in with that beauty blender she carefully very carefully <laughs> blends that through and as you guys can see my forehead's quite small so um, we're just adding a little bit more concealer on there just to highlight so for the under eye we mixed the Laura Mercier powder and Sasha Buttercup powders together because we wanted an under eye that was bright and stood out but we didn't want it to be ashy or too white or too yellow. So going in with a dry beauty blender she applied that mixture beneath my eyes. As you guys can see she's not baking yet she just gently applies a little bit of product and then beneath where she's contoured she adds a tad bit of powder just to highlight my cheekbones and then once she has set it she goes in for a bake after just to avoid that heavy under eye cakey look she really wanted to focus on skin and um, that's a good technique if you don't want to be overly cakey so as a bronzer we use the abh bronzer powder in shade mahogany uh, she uses an angled brush and she sweeps that across my skin ever so gently she also applies in the hollows of my cheek to intensify that contour to really intensify my eye look she goes in with a black pencil into my water lines to really make my eye pop um, you guys can definitely see the difference I look awake now even though I looked awake before I look real awake now um, she adds a little bit more product under my eyes more powder she definitely builds up on that baking and I like that it's a very very good technique guys to not look too cakey next we go in with that cocoa eyeshadow underneath my waterline again to intensify the eye look and then to set the rest of my face we use the mac mineralize powder in shade dark we not only use it to um, set the rest of my face but she uses it to dust off the excess powder so I guess this helps me to not look white or ashy under my eyes it really warms up my under eye um, powder and I'm in love 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 with that With a pencil brush, she dips into the mahogany from the ABH powder bronzer and she applies that to the sides of my nose to intensify my nose contour. And then using the VN Lux Vintinelli eyelashes, the 3D mink lashes, we apply that onto the eyes, girl, and watch me wake the F up, okay? Look at how delectable these lashes are, girl. I'm gonna have the link down below in the description so that you guys can go ahead and buy it. And for bronzer, we use the Saharan Blush Palette and we are going to go into Toby, that beautiful orange. Again, the same way she applied the bronzer ever so gently is how she's gonna apply the blusher. We love a good blusher, but we don't like an overload. I don't know if you guys can remember, but at the start, she only outlined my eyebrows. She didn't actually fill them in. So to fill them in, we go in with an ABH brow pencil. And look at how fluffy my eyebrows look. I just love it. We go in, we spray my face with that Mario Badesco, Badesco spray just to revive my skin. Now that I'm looking refreshed, we line the lips with a sleek lip liner. This one is called Just Say Nothing. It's going to be linked anyway. Um, we line the lips and then we go in with ABH lip liquid lipstick in Starfish. That's the perfect nude. It's not too it's not too beigey. I love the fact that it's got a little hint of brown in there. Oh my god! Oh girl! Oh oh girl! So now we've got the NYX butter gloss. I'm coming alive now, baby. Um, we girl. Oh, Madeline. Okay, my eyesight is so bad, guys. Madeline, we're gonna apply that liquid. I mean, so, we're gonna apply that lip gloss onto my. What was I talking about, girl? Relax. <laughs> we are applying that lip gloss, and oh, I'm not gonna lie. I look very delectable right now. Wow. Using the Black Magic liquid eyeliner, we're going to add um a tad bit of liner 
just so that the eyelash doesn't look too crazy you know and then using the whisper of guilt extra dimension highlighter from mac i'm guessing this is a christmas special we are going to highlight um oh, as you can see, again, no overdose of anything. This look is just so clean. Nothing is overpowering anything. It's just all blending and working, okay? Partnership. So yeah, she applies that onto my forehead. You know, everywhere that I wanna glow. She knows I'm glow queen, so she just made me glow all over. And that's it, guys. I hope you enjoyed this look. We just used some mascara on the bottom lashes. And hair goes turn to me. Ah! Girl, girl, oh my god, I feel like, I just love this look, it's gorgeous. Oh, girl, wow, wow, god, give it to them, give it to them, yeah, ooh, ooh. going with the wind, kiss, kiss, <laughs> oh, guys, thank you so much for tuning in. I feel so good, I haven't posted a makeup tutorial in forever, but I am living for this look. Thank you so much for tuning in. Don't forget to subscribe. Check out Nikita. Check out my stylist that made this wig. Check out the hair company down below in the description box. Give me a thumbs up. Comment down below. Love you guys so much. Bye.